Once you step into the blended learning and you see how it can work in the classroom and with kids, it becomes quite exciting actually. I can work more closely with a smaller amount of kids and the other kids can, can move off on their own pace. It is one of the few instructional models that I've come across that uh, takes into account the, the good things that are happening with face-to-face -face teaching in a classroom. So those stories, those anecdotes, the the great lessons that teachers have when they are at the front of the class and it, it marries that with the, the online learning that has become more and more prevalent. The BC Education Plan talks about increasing flexibility for students and personalization for students and using technology to enhance your instruction and that's exactly what blended learning offers. Being in a blended classroom means that I can get my work done even when I miss school for all my sporting activities. In a regular classroom you're kind of locked into the pace that the teacher sets and if the teacher is going really slow then everyone has to slow down to the teacher's pace instead of working at their own pace where they can go fast or slower or uh, anywhere in between. I definitely found that I wasn't under as much pressure and I found it a lot less stressful because I could work at my own pace that I was comfortable with. I really enjoyed it because I love working ahead and Instead of going to new units, I could explore deeper into the, I guess, the same unit. It's very rare that there's even two students that are at the exact same place with their foundational knowledge, their ability, and their motivation. Uh, so it's impacted my teaching in that I feel like I'm reaching more students in my class at the same time. I'm learning a lot as, as a person who values learning. Um, I'm learning a lot about learning <laughs> just by doing this and I think that in itself probably makes me a better teacher just in terms of being able to help students through their own learning pathway. I think it opens up cross-curricular collaboration with teachers, having a space where students can get those hands-on, get those small tutorials in the areas they really need it when they need it. If done correctly and we're heading towards that, it can provide a teacher with less marking, less time spent on preparation, which will allow them more time for that one-on-one -on -one instruction or small group instruction within the classroom. It opens a door to being a very respectful and mutual journey as opposed to something that's top-down. I don't just think it's the future, I think it's, it's now. I mean, when students leave here, their training is going to be in blended learning. Their colleges, their universities are blending their instruction. So I sort of feel like if, if we don't get on that bandwagon, we're doing our students a disservice.